I had such bad hair loss, you could see my scalp, my hair was miniaturizing. I didn't have much hair fall, but my hair was getting thinner and thinner and less dense. After oiling and using essential oils like rosemary oil, I really saw a difference in my hair, the quality of my hair, and also the thickness of my hair. I could not recommend enough these oils in your hair loss journey. In this video, I'll be going through how exactly I put oil in my hair as a great treatment against hair loss. If you don't know who I am, my name is Iman. I suffer from hair loss and over the past few years I've really improved the quality of my hair. One of the reasons that's really helped me grow back my hair is using organic cold pressed essential oils and carrier oils. Now there have been so many studies on rosemary, peppermint essential oil and those essential oils coupled with a mixture of other really really good oils to help nourish your hair follicles is going to help stimulate hair growth and block deep DHT, stopping hair loss in its tracks. I'm actually launching my very own hair growth elixir that has really helped me. This is a jam-packed hair growth oil that you can get your hands on by clicking on the link in my description to sign up. I'm gonna be showing you the technique that I use to oil my hair for optimal hair growth and I'm gonna be showing you a style that I use whenever I've got oil in my hair and I don't have time to wash it out. Now I've got oil in my hair right now and guys, um, I'm so excited for my hair growth oil to launch and be the very first to get your hands on one. If you use any carrier oil of your choice, Jehovah Argan Oil, and then you put your essential oils in another bottle like so. I'll use amber glass bottle or a green glass bottle like this one. The rough measurements for your own hair growth oil, you want to have either a 50 ml bottle like this one or I would definitely suggest either a 100 ml bottle. For a 100 ml bottle, you want 97 milliliters of your carrier oil and then 3 milliliters of your essential oil. One milliliter is about 20 drops, 30 drops of rosemary, 30 drops of peppermint essential oil. Now I normally just pour the oil in my hand and then I just apply all over my scalp. I do about 20 minutes of massaging and if you haven't seen my massaging video, make sure to check it out. Massaging is a great technique to stimulate hair growth. Coupled with the oil, this is really gonna help your hair grow. What's really important is you want to create heat on your scalp, open up your pores so that the oil can really penetrate the hair shaft, really get in there in your roots. What I recommend, in one of the studies they put a hot towel on top of the hair. What I would suggest to get a hair bonnet and what you can do, and I'll link some in the in my description, but you can put it in the microwave and then put it in your on your hair. Or what I do, I have like a makeshift one. So I just use a shower cap and a hat or a scarf. And what that's gonna do is really going to help the oil get in there. And I put the oil all over my hair as well because it's really good for the whole hair, not just the scalp, but it's gonna be mostly a scalp treatment. Put on the shower cap. Are you guys ready for me to look like a thumb? And then put on the hat. The, the shower cap and then the hat on top is just gonna create extra heat on my head. I would leave this in for a few hours. If you want to, you can leave it overnight, but at least four hours to make it work. And then you can wash it out. I would recommend to do this every day if you can, if you can't, every other day. So that is a treatment that you wanna do. Now I'm gonna show you guys some hairstyles that you can do so you you don't look like a drowned rat. You can also just use a very small amount of oil in your hair if you wanted to step out and just put a very, very sparingly amount in your hair and go about your business. What sometimes I like to do is I like to wear an oil bun. Yay! So this is my oil bun. I've got this from Primark and you can get them from Amazon for like really cheap, but this will give you extra volume in your bun. So I'm just gonna do a ponytail. And I kind of like to do it not too high, but a little bit high. And you just want to make sure you're brushing the back and the sides to give it a more of a sleek look. And then I just want to bring out my baby hairs. Just put my two fingers in there. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mr. Bun. That is not weird at all. Lock me up, please. Now this is the tricky part because your hair is oily, so you wanna make sure you're covering the full brown bun. And then you just want to tuck it in. And voila, you've got yourself a very thick, 
sleek oil one. And I would pair this with some hoops. It just creates volume when you have your full hair up. If you have very, very thin hair, then you can use hair extensions as well to wrap in the bun to give it um, more of a fuller look and to cover the whole piece here. So that's my other recommendation is to buy like a strip of extensions and you can just wrap it in there as well to give it an extra added boost. You know, you can wear your oil bun out, out and about. It is quite hard to oil every day or every other day. So these little tricks just help you to actually do it. Another thing is you can actually wear a wig as well. So if you wear a shower cap and then a wig on top for a few hours, you don't want to be doing it for the whole day because you do want your scalp to breathe. But that way is another way to also uh, have like a protective style, but have the oil in your hair as well. But guys, I am so excited for my hair growth oil. I'm so excited for it to launch. I'm working in the background really hard to source the most cold pressed, organic, really, really nourishing oils. And I've got some other surprises up my sleeve as well. I'm also working on a scalp scrub and a hair mask, which is so important. The cleansing part of the hair journey, of your hair loss journey is so crucial. You want to nourish and also cleanse and exfoliate your scalp. The scalp is the key to hair growth and to hair loss. I'll be honest, I'm also struggling a little bit with the name of the brand that I want to launch with. I've had multiple ideas whether to call it La Lune or Lunel. I just don't like those names anymore and I was toying with the idea of like beat beauty <sighs> or and I was I really like the, the native beauty but that's taken every name you can think of is taken so if you guys have any suggestions of what I should call my beauty brand I would love love to hear your suggestions so make sure to comment what you guys think I should should name my my business nourish your hair follicles from the inside and out but if you haven't seen my how to beat hair loss playlist make sure to check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!